Hey, what's up you guys? It's Matt here back again with another video. Uh, today we'll be continuing our series on the lookbook reviews and we're going to be doing the spring summer 2013 collection. So we'll just go outfit by outfit and break down each piece that the uh, model is wearing. So let's get into it. So for the first outfit, for the outermost uh, jacket, we have the social sculpture Addis coat. The Addis coat is cut a lot like the Visvim uh, Naragi. Um, so it's got the crop sleeves and then the kimono neck, but um, just it's cut in a coat way where it's lengthened all the way down to like uh, mid thigh length. And this one is actually an indigo and hemp blend material. So it's really cool. And you can see the different color variations and texture throughout. Under that, we have the artifact coverall and suede, Italian suede. So we saw this in the past couple of seasons in their social sculpture denim, but for this season they actually chose to use Italian goat leather, which is really interesting. Um, suede looks super soft and supple, and I think it's a really nice piece. Under that we have the Lunta Amdo shirt. So for this season, a lot like previous seasons, Vism uh, chose a specific pattern to show in multiple pieces across the collection. And it really shows how um, Visvim can unify an entire collection. So for this collection, you see this Amdo print, which is which is just crosses, and usually they're hand painted in some sort of way. So for this shirt, it's made out of Egyptian Giza cotton, which is Egypt's most uh, luxurious and expensive cottons. Uh, typical button-up shirt, and it just has that Amdo print all the way throughout. On the bottom there, he's got some slim chinos, and they actually make the chinos out of their social sculpture denim. And they're actually one wash, so they're not raw, but they put them in a washer once, and it actually leaves them with a really deep, rich blue. I really like that piece. Okay, going on to the second outfit. So on the outermost piece, we have the uh, calf combat jacket in slope corduroy. Obviously, this jacket has military inspirations, Probably took a lot of inspirations from the N65 military jacket. So you see it's got some tactical uh, pockets on the chest and then two uh, waist pockets. And then it's got a waist cincher in the middle as well. And it's made out of this really nice slope corduroy. Under that we have the Amdo hoodie. So again, using that pattern that I talked about prior and using the same Egyptian Giza cotton and it's just a typical hoodie silhouette. Under that he's got some typical slim chinos. I didn't feel the need to uh, have a picture of them, but just khaki chinos. And then these are one of my favorite Skagways that, that they ever made that he has on feet. So it's typical Skagway. So they got the leather lining, leather insoles, uh, vulcanized outsoles, EVA phylon midsoles. Um, and then all of them have this hand stitch detail, this hand stitch teal detail. But the only difference with these is that they're hand embroidered um, on the back. You have this really nice color blocking and then the embroidered flowers throughout. So I really, really like those Skagways. Moving on. So outermost piece, we have the White Owl Chambray uh, Luxic Jacket. So Luxic material is a lot like um, West Indian Sea Island cotton. So West Indian Sea Island cotton is known as the most luxurious and expensive cottons all the way like anywhere throughout the world. But the only downfall is they can only make it three to five months out of the year. So they took the DNA of West Indian Sea Island cotton and tried to make the same cotton in America. And they try to make it in a way where they can make it uh, year round. So they get a lot more production out of it. And that's what the Luxic cotton is. So it shares 100% of the DNA and of uh, West Indian Sea Island cotton. So it feels uh, the same. It's got the same staple length, um, but they can make it year round. So let's see, the retail of this was 557. It's got a really nice chain stitching detail throughout. And as I said before, it's used the Luxic cotton. Under that, it's got the, he's got a Lamo shirt in a natural dye. So this one was a Tokyo exclusive. Um, I believe this one that he's wearing was mud dyed and it has a 70% rayon and 30% linen. These Lamos and this um, material, this blend, are known as one of the rarest Lamo shirts that Vism have, has ever made. So I really would like a pair sometime throughout my collection. Under that, he's got some 
natural dyed corduroy trousers. It's pr they look green, so maybe a mix of indigo and mud dyed. Under that, he's got an Enion Crew. This retailed for 152. So it's a typical T-shirt and has a print of accessories, so it makes it look like you're wearing necklaces. I don't think I would ever wear a T-shirt like this. I think it's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but the way they style it here it looks really good. Um, on the bottom, he's got pound maker boots. So retail at 925. You see, it's got nine eyelets, uh, a contrasting yellow rope laces. It's got this really nice floral pattern lining. Uh, so, and then typical things that you see on Vism boots. So you have Goodyear Welt Construction, Fiber and Lug Sole, TPU Hero Counter, and a leather insole lined with cork. And what's really nice about that cork is um, it molds to your feet over time, so it gives the wearer a pretty unique uh, uh, imprint when you wear it for a long time and it improves the comfort and stuff like that. And then the accessory has got this nice Homer tote. So all of these Homer totes are usually woven with this really nice Italian canvas and they actually did a floral pattern for this season. And um, all the leather that you see is vegetable tan piping uh, and the handle. And this floral pattern I believe is the same pattern that they used right here on the lining of the pound maker boots, which is really cool how they tied in those two things. Next outfit, this is uh, one of two of my favorite outfits in this. So on the outside, you have the Laramel robe and, and the Amdo pattern, as I said before. This was the same robe seen in John Mayer's uh, Paradise Valley cover, which is really interesting. Not listed here, but he's wearing an ICT uh, kerchief down. So I explain it below, but the outer shell is composed of vintage source bandanas. The down filling is made up of white mother goose down feathers, which is the most uh, luxurious uh, goose down that they make. The lining is mud dyed and depicts a controversial rendition of the Trail of Tears. Also includes antique brass buttons and the retail you see was $15.95. And a really cool thing about the lining is, so they mud dye this entire lining and then every time you see blue, that's indigo. Anytime you see red, that's cochineal dye. Anytime you see brown, that's mud dye. So it's really interesting attention to detail and probably takes a very long time to color. Under that, we have the uh, Deadwood Chambray. So same Luxic material that I talked about before. It's a typical denim shirt, um, nothing to write home about, but really versatile, really nice. Under that, he's got these Social Sculpture Damaged Knives. So all Social Sculpture de um, denim that Visma makes is woven on vintage Japanese looms. Uh, it's 14 to 16 ounces, depending on the damage. Uh, rope tied, which means that they take the yarn and they twist it into a rope and then dip it in a vat of indigo very quickly. And what that does is it leaves the outermost parts of the yarn uh, in indigo and the innermost uh, still that raw white cotton. It actually allows for better fading over time. Um, and then all Social Sculpture Denim also has brain tanned indigo dyed gear skin back patches. And on the boots, he's got the Coach Ice boots. So the retail for these were $9.75, and it uses Horine's renowned Pit Tanned Bison Chrome XL leather. It also has these cotton nylon fabric quarter panels, heavy duty metal lacing eyelets, rawhide laces, Swiss made Riri zippers. It's got a mock toe styling, and then typical Goodyear welted Vibram lug outsole. And next outfit. So this is the Varsity Jacket in uh, Italian suede. It uses natural goat suede um, that actually has been specifically treated to create a unique worn appearance. So it looks like the jacket is, you know, five, ten years old, but, you know, new. Retail was a hefty $2,600, which is really interesting. This is probably a grail jacket for me um, for Visvim. So if any of you guys are interested or have it and are interested in selling it, I'd be very interested to purchase. Under that, peeking below it, we have the VV Oxford. So typical um, button-up shirt using Egyptian geese of cotton, but the only difference is it has hand embroidery on the bottom. So it really allows for a really nice layering um, when you're putting it uh, under stuff. Uh, next outfit. So here we have the Social Sculpture Abacore shirt. So this is like the typical Social Sculpture shirt, but they actually cut out the elbows and put insert fabric. And again, it uses the same Amdo fabric that they've been using throughout the entire collection. 
So the denim used is a custom eight ounce Okayama denim, and it also has mother of pearl snap buttons. Um, he is holding right here this jacket. It's a kerchief down jacket. So the same silhouette as the bandana one that we saw before, but this one's made out of a cotton nylon blend, but shares most of the same features. And on the bottom, oh, sorry, the accessory is an Amdo medicine bag. So literally just a, a leather bag with the hand-painted Amdo detailing, which is really, really nice. And then finally on the bottom, he's wearing these uh, slub corduroys in pink. These are actually on the real rail right now for like $80. That's where I got this picture from. So if you guys are interested in these, I would go check the real rail. Next outfit, outermost layer, we have the Kilgore jacket. Again, inspirations from the N65 military jacket. It's got a washed cotton um, material. Um, I just purchased uh, a Kilgore jacket, not the like the other week, and I love it. They're great. It's a really nice, like thin and light material, um, but perfect for like summer and spring. Under uh, actually over that, he's got this insulator vest in white. I couldn't find any pictures of it, but it's uh, down filled and it's literally just a vest. And peeking out in the cuffs here, you see he's got a Lamo shirt in a check pattern. I really like the Lamo shirt. I have, I just listed a size two um, indigo dye that you guys can check out right now. It's a really, really nice piece. Under that, he's got the Oxford signal, Oxford, excuse me, Oxford signal in uh, Egyptian Giza cotton. So again, Vism uses typical button up shirt silhouette and just adds a little detail for layering so in this case they used a different a bunch of different patch uh, details cut in uh, triangles and it leaves a really nice silhouette he use, uses this shirt again later in the collection that we'll look at and on the bottom here he's wearing the same um, damage nine social sculpture denim next outfit we have the sundance shirt in suede it so that means it's made out of italian suede and the retail was $1,800 and it uses Italian goat leather. The Sundance is a lot like a coverall, um, except it's cut in a really a thinner material. So it's more like a shirt other than, like rather than a jacket. Um, I really, really like this piece. Under that, he's got the same red uh, bandana kerchief jacket we talked about before. Under that, he's got this Social Sculpture Four Corner shirt. So it's a lot like the Social Sculpture shirt, but when it says four corners, it means it has one, two, three, and four corners on it. So typical shirt. I have two of two of the social sculpture shirts right now, and I love them to death. Let's see. Under that, he's got just typical khaki corduroys, and then one of my favorite Skagways is the Skagway Amdos. So these retailed for six hundred and thirty. It's got suede uppers and this Amdo print. And the Amdo print was actually hand painted with mud. These shoes also feature uh, really unique Kofu patches on the tongue as well. So next outfit we have the Artifact coverall in Kano corduroy. So this is just like all the other corduroys we saw before, but the Kano is actually naturally dyed with indigo and mud. So when you wear it a long time, it actually um, like shows hues of brown and greens and it's really interesting when um, it's worn in. Under that we have the Social Sculpture 102 jacket, one wash. So the, so we all know the 101, it's the same silhouette, it just has two pockets. The 102 just only has one. I believe this is modeled after Type 1 Levi's denim jacket. And again, it has the one wash uh, that we saw in the Slim Chinos in the first outfit. So it's not raw, but they put it through the washer once and it has this really deep, rich blue. Uh, under that, he's wearing the same Deadwood Chambray in Luxic material that we talked about before. And he's wearing the same corduroys seen here. And on the bottom, we have the Grizz uh, Mock Mid Folk. I love these shoes. So cowhide suede uppers, fibrum gum light soles, TPU heel stabilizer. They're unlined for better for better uh, breathability, and then it also features hand sewn detailing, as we see in most Venom footwear, uh, uh, Visvim footwear. 
This is the other one of my favorite outfits. This is probably my favorite outfit of the entire collection. So outermost, we have the uh, Lamo robe uh, made out of Italian yak wool and silk. So it's a 50-50 blend. This retailed for $3,000 and it also features this floral paisley trim. Under that, he's got the social sculpture coverall and actually lined with linen and the linen is actually features the amdo pattern that we saw before so it's a really really cool jacket and i love the detailing that they did on it under that he's got a one-on-one jacket in the same cano corduroy um i talked about it prior but it's also in um uh, it's indigo dyed and mud dyed so again with where it shows really really cool um colors under that he's got a uh Rooster t-shirt. I couldn't find really any pictures of these, but it's just a regular t-shirt with a rooster graphic on it. And then he's got these really nice dark brown uh, slope corduroy pants. On the bottom, he's got the Skagway Damask. These are also one of my favorite Skagways that they ever made. Retailed for $458. Features this premium jacquard fabric and embroidered uh, floral pattern all the way throughout. And it actually has vegetable tan suede panels at the heel and the tongue. Next outfit. So really simple, but really, really nice. He's got the Bandito shirt in Egyptian Giza cotton. So this looks a lot like the Wally shirt, but it's almost like a washed cotton. So you can see it already has like this really nice fading on it. And it's cut in the same silhouette as the social sculpture shirts. So it's really, really nice. I believe it also has the same mother of pearl snap buttons. And then on the bottom has the slim chinos. So we saw these in the one wash in the first outfit, but these is just the damaged version. So they put it through the washer and do hand distressing on it. On feet, we have the pound maker boots. So we saw these before. This features this really nice bison leather, uh, nine eyelets, contrasting laces and this pattern uh, floral pattern that we saw in the accessory in one of the outfits and has a typical Goodyear welt and then the Vibram lug sole. Really, really nice outfit. All right, so for the jacket, he has this uh, Ketchikan jacket and two and a half liter Gore Tex, so it's um, we know that it's waterproof. This one is green, but I only can find a picture of a black one. Um, Nothing to write home about. It's a pretty simple jacket, but really nice as well. Under that, he's got the um, the Signals Oxford that we saw before. Let me go find it. This Oxford, you can see it a little poking out at the bottom. And then on the feet, he is wearing the Skagway canvas embroidered. So we saw these in white. Previously, this is the navy version. Next outfit, he's got the Academia blazer in the same corduroy that we've seen throughout the collection. Under that, we have the Kilgore jacket that we also explained previously in another outfit. Um, innermost layer, we have the uh, VV Amdo trim shirt. So it's just a button-up shirt with the Amdo print on the bottom. Again, you can see Hiroki's very, very good at making things um, work well with layering so you can see each piece um, when they're all together. And then he's got this cross shoulder um, crochet uh, shoulder bag. So this was hand knit by Golden Hook, which is a company in France, and all the artisans are actually grannies, which is really interesting. Um, so cool piece. Um, next outfit, outermost piece is the Gantu blazer, um, made made in Italy. This was actually natural dyed in indigo. So typical soft suiting blazer, not really structured, but really, really nice piece. Under that, we have the rust belt shirt in chambray, so it's just short sleeve. And it's made out of the same Luxic cotton discussed previously. And then these are one of my favorite um, footwear that Vism has ever made, so they're, they're they're the Lauda Folk in natural dye. So these are naturally dyed in indigo and the uppers are actually made out of this um, blanket material. Uh, the soles are hand assembled and hand stitched. So really, really nice piece. And they're very rare as well. 
next outfit we have the Kilgore jacket so we discussed it before it was in this green damaged cotton and this time it's made out of this pink linen uh, I've been on the hunt for this for a while if any of you guys have this jacket I'd love to buy it under that he's got a typical white t-shirt with amdo print all the way throughout and then these Flint High Marie's so these retail for $442 they're inspired inspired by classic chukka boots but with a sneaker midsole um, they use cowhide suede and embroidered canvas uppers and washed denim laces next outfit outermost layer he's got the Naragi chambray so I discussed the Naragi with the Addis coat uh, if you guys remember from the first outfit so again it's got the crop sleeves and the kimono neck so typical Japanese inspiration jacket that's really cool for daily wear under that he's got the Ingle shirt in IT um, I believe this is actually made out of linen as well uh, and it's made in Italy and it's got this um, this no collar effect as well it's a really cool shirt for the spring next outfit next outfit we have the Lamo shirt in natural dye grass I talked about the Lamo shirt before it was mud dyed but this one is actually dyed with grass which is the only time I've ever seen any garment dyed by grass so it was originally green uh, has uh, faded into this really nice brown and uh, white hues and it's made out of the same material the 70% rayon and 30% linen and these are very very rare lamos under that oh under that he's got this ambo shirt and just uh, the cross print all the way throughout and it actually has the signals hem t underneath so we saw this in a button up but they also made a t-shirt and then he has this uh, homer tote i couldn't find any pictures of this tote but it's literally italian woven canvas with the amdo print all the way throughout last outfit so he's got a flag tee over this deadwood chambray shirt in luxic material so we saw this in a blue chambray material but this is just an off-white color um, under that he's got cano corduroy pants so much like the two jackets we saw before uh, the cano corduroy is mud dyed and indigo dyed and you can see like uh, this yellow and green and brown hues that you see over time uh, here he's holding the jackets I don't know why they wouldn't put them on because they're like amazing jackets and I feel like the outfit would look a lot better with these two jackets on but he's holding a um, 101 jacket in a damaged border material so this is the same blanket material that was used in the Lyuda uh, shoes seen before so it's a really cool detail for a really classic jacket and under that he's got the kerchief down jacket in, in navy bandanas we saw this in red before so it shares all the same um, materials and aspects from the red one and then on feet I couldn't find the white ones but I found the black ones these retailed these are called the PTU cap highs retailed for $422 they use premium canvas uppers and this custom printed outsole and that is it so thank you guys for watching if you enjoy videos like this please consider liking subscribing if you have any suggestions um, please put them in the comments below Thank you for watching and have a good one.